folks and welcome back to another really quick tip here inside of the powerful Google Sheets which is part of the Google Workspace platform. Remember if you'd like more information on Google Workspace or you want some of the options that come with the Google Workspace platform check the link in the description below. There'll be a link there that you, where you can go to get some more information on Google Workspace. Well recently we posted a video on standard deviation in Google Sheets and the different ways that you can find your population values and your sample values and we got a request almost right away to show us how to calculate mean absolute deviation inside of Google Sheets. So this week that's what we're going to do is learn how to calculate mean absolute deviation inside of Google Sheets. So let's get started. First thing we're going to need is our data set and you can see that we've got that here. The data set is already entered in Google Sheets and these are blood sugars for a diabetic. And the next thing that we're going to need to do as part of step two is to calculate our mean or the average of our data set. So right down here you can see we've got our mean. We're going to go ahead and open up our formula with an equal sign and we're going to say average. This will calculate the average of our data set. We're going to open our bracket, highlight our data set right here, and make sure we got them all in there. Then we're going to close that out and you can see our average is 111.2. Next thing we need to do is we need to um, calculate our absolute deviations from the data set. So to do that, we've got our data set, and the next thing we need is our mean, which we've got. And so the way we calculate this is we start our formula with an equal sign. We're going to type in ABS. This will give us an absolute value. We're going to open up a bracket and it's going to ask us to put our formula in there. Now to get the absolute value or the absolute deviations of our data set, what we need to do is first select our data set, which in this case would be 80 for this, this row right here. And then we're going to subtract our mean or our average. Now we're going to use the same mean or average on every single uh, column here or yeah, row in our data set. And so we're going to lock this out. We do that with uh, by putting our dollar signs. Once we have that, we can hit enter. It'll close it out. Now you'll see that we get the autofill selection again. In this case, this is actually correct. We could use the autofill. But in case it doesn't show up for you, we're going to go ahead and show you how. So we'll X out and we're going to select our cell that we already have our formula in. Just grab that little corner and drag it straight down. Now we got the absolute deviations for each of our data set from the mean. So now that we have that, we're ready to calculate our mean absolute deviation. And to do that, all we need to do is again get our average and select our absolute deviations this time. So we're going to hit equal sign and we're going to go ahead and type in average again. And we're going to open up a bracket, select our date or our absolute deviation data set, close that out. And now we've got our mean absolute deviation, which is 26.88. So very simple way to calculate your mean absolute deviation inside of Google Sheets. Remember, check the description below for more links. And we'll see you back here with more solutions that ignite your power.